You haven't found your way here by accident. It's a unique and meaningful connection meant to deliver the impactful message of Apostle Joshua Selman to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you but also inspire you for greatness. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the richness of this transformative message. Before we delve further, I extend a warm invitation for you to actively engage with this significant message. Join in by liking the video, sharing it with those in your circles who might find it beneficial, and subscribing to our channel for a consistent flow of insightful content. Your support is genuinely appreciated and plays a crucial role in our ability to continue sharing these meaningful messages. As you tune in to absorb this special message, may blessings overflow into your life. Embrace the profound wisdom offered by Apostle Joshua Selman, and let this encounter be a beacon of inspiration and positive change in your life's journey. Your openness to receiving this message can be a transformative step toward a more enriched and purposeful life. When someone comes to you and says there's no favor in my life, the glory of God is not in my life. It looks like everything is tied down. You don't just blindly say, let's pray and communicate ignorance in that prayer. Do you know what gives life to your prayer is knowledge. Without knowledge, you pray amiss. What makes prayer powerful is the word compliancy of that prayer. If you do not pray from a standpoint of understanding, you can dissipate energy sincerely. But prayer miss. The ways of God. This is the second way we know God. So if you want to prosper in the kingdom, rather than just crying and rolling up and down, find out the pattern that has been allocated to be a blessed man. And the Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 51, 1 and 2, it says, look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that body, for I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Understudy Abraham's life. Abraham in God's mind is his idea of what it means to be blessed. I desire encounters. Study the man Jacob. Jacob is God's portrait of a man who can meet God and trust God to swallow up his weaknesses into strength. Leave me for the day break it. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said, what is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, thou shalt no more be called Jacob but Israel. For as a prince you have had power with God and prevailed. He touched the whole of his thigh and blessed him. The Bible says, the sun arose and he called the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face. And my life is preserved. You want to study on favor. The woman Esther is God's portrait of what it means to walk in favor. A young village girl taken from Shushan until she became queen. Favor can take a man from anywhere to anywhere. So you study. You see, let me tell you this as I wrap up. All the names that you call in the Bible. Abraham, Peter. Esther, they are not just names of people. They are spiritual pathways that reveal how to become a certain kind of believer. So when you say Ruth, Ruth is not just the name of a woman. Ruth is a capture of a spiritual pathway that can restore people even after they've lost. She lost everything. So when you study Ruth, you are not just studying a woman. There is a road map through her life that leads you to experience God in a certain way. Are we together now? Yes. When you study Rahab, Rahab is not just a woman who did this. No, 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 no. There is a spiritual pathway called Rahab that no matter how bad things are, there is a way you can become on the Lord's side. The things that are written aforetime, they are written for our learning that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope. Let me tell you this. One of the ways you know it is God training you is because somewhere in your training, you will start looking like somebody in the Bible. You must look like somebody in the Bible if it is the God of heaven that is training you. You may not yet know where you are going to. This is a prophetic word for someone. 
The moment you begin to walk with God, eventually you will start finding parallels of your experience. If you don't find it, it's an evil spirit that is training you. Yes. Listen, there are many of you right now in your training, you are becoming Esther. All of a sudden, I came from a family of, you know, no nobility, no notoriety. But God, what is this thing you are doing with me? With the prayer every day. When I want to do what other people are doing, you seem to be separating me. What is it that you are looking for in me? It is Esther in the making. Because there is an apostolic mantle upon Esther. She's the only one who has the power to bring down her man. Not even Mordecai. Every other person in the book of Esther only played roles to assist her. The real savior was Esther. We are wrapping up. I just saw a wilderness. There needed to be a timing. It was John that would ordain Jesus. And John had to. The delay for Elizabeth was not delayed by the devil. It was to coincide with the timing. John had to be there. An adult enough, only six months older than Jesus. Can I tell you? One of the things I hopefully will be teaching you tomorrow is the value of closed doors. Before we talk of open doors. Because when doors are closed, they restrict access until permission is granted. Anything new comes closed. So closed doors are not all evil. When you stand before a door, the first thing you need is discernment to know why it was closed. Because sometimes it can be a door to a prison that is closed. Make sure you don't open it. Because even the prison has a door. Teaser for tomorrow. Let's finish tonight. Because we have to pray. Are you seeing the reason why you should call everybody around Ghana to be here? To, if there is no space, they should sit on the fence tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. The devil must be kicked out of this nation. This nation belongs to Jesus. There are mighty men and women of God rising. Mighty politicians, businessmen. And Satan has no power over Ghana. Ghana is a prophetic child in the spirit. And in the name of Jesus, there is a consecration upon Ghana. And no power of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Sustains the power to abort God's prophetic program. Please rise. Let me give you the last one as we close. So the three dimensions to knowing God. Number one, his nature and character that must become your nature and character. Number two, his ways that must become your ways. Because he already told you my ways are not your ways. But you can make his ways your ways. It's called alignment. It's called yieldedness. Where you give up your own way and say, Lord, I want to follow your way. Number three, the third dimension of God. And from this moment when I introduce it, it will be the theme of our discussion up until my sessions are over. Ephesians chapter 1, 18 to 20. Hmm. This is the third dimension of the knowledge of God. Paul is mentoring the church in Ephesus. And here's what he says. That the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Read verse 19 if you're a Christian as loud as you can, please. One, two, go. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power. Watch this. The third that has been granted by God to know him is to know his power. You know his nature, his character. You know his ways. Then you know. 8 and verse 5. The Bible says, Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ unto them. My apologies for keeping you waiting. We are going to pray. Verse 6. It says the people gave heed. Why did they give heed? To the things that Philip spake. Hearing and seeing.
the miracles that he did it took more than an intelligent discussion this world you see today is tired of stories there needs to be a demonstration of the potent authentic power of the holy spirit power beyond the church walls power over nature power over demons power over yokes by the time someone comes who has been a victim of all kinds of orchestrations of ancestry and then one encounter at the impact conference and all of a sudden chains begin to fall all of a sudden altars are burnt on fire and the glory of that family is revealed is it not in your bible the bible says many are they that rise up against me many are they that say where is your help he said but thou O lord you are a shield for me my glory and he calls him the lifter up of my head can i tell you i believe in the power of god my goodness would we have come this far without that power the power of god is what that is the signature that signs everything god does we have all kinds of construction companies in nigeria and they have their logos you don't need to ask are they the ones who build number one you look at the excellence then you look around and you will see their logo are we together you can know what god has done because there is always a stamp of his power there are situations that don't need character they need power did you hear what i said causes don't need character they need power character is good it reveals christ to men but not to spirits spirits don't need character what they need is power psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in thy works he says through the greatness of thy power not the greatness of your discussion shall thy enemies submit themselves in this place right now there are destinies that have been tied down that that the devil will not allow you rise the bible is clear as to the fact that the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy jesus said i am come that ye may have life and to have it more abundantly can i tell you the ministry of power is what reveals jesus to the nations power power shalika parusiata and that everything that does not name the name of Christ in this place the planting that is not of the Lord it must be uprooted tonight is someone ready to pray say father come on shout it say father reveal your power in my life go ahead and pray in one minute your power it takes power to do ministry it takes power to be wealthy it takes power to remain influential it takes power for your head to remain afloat someone go ahead and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We're still praying. Please give me, give us Romans 15. And I believe it should be verse 19. I want you to read what the Bible says there. Romans 15, verse 19. Let's read together. One to read. Through mighty signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. You have not fully preached the, the gospel of Christ if the power component is missing. We fully preach when power comes to. Power to heal. Power to wipe tears. Power to lift men power to rewrite the stories of families there are people right now on sick beds there are 
Shalaskai Biyad Aniska Imbris Kamando Shaliska Rekete Beka Katuski Apa Radosh Kabranda Impratu Kapara Katuska Pratekebete Lekatuska Sabadis Metepas Katabara Kataba Rakatos Beratosko Dobreteke Barata Ebratuski Banika Parata Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. Hear me. Hear me. You want power in the spirit there are three ways we access power one by encounters two by the ministry of prayer and the word number three by impartation if the sermons have been a source of blessing elevating your life to break every chain and inspiring you to serve god with your heart soul and body we warmly invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel by tuning on the notification bell you ensure that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription is not just a click, it's a commitment to continued spiritual growth, enlightenment and empowerment. As we journey together in faith, our channel seeks to provide a haven for spiritual seekers and believers alike. We believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our aim is to share messages that resonate with your soul. So, join our community, subscribe, and let the light of divine wisdom guide your path. Thank you for being part of this uplifting journey, and may God's blessings overflow in your life. Amen.